My name is Dana Van Buchen, and I am a research nurse practitioner at Benaroya Research Institute. For the past eight years, I've been working with the Diabetes Clinical Research Program. And even in that short period of time, we've made tremendous strides in our research and our understanding of type 1 diabetes. We have shown that immunotherapy can be effective in delaying the progression to type 1 diabetes. We have contributed to advancing technologies such as the artificial pancreas, something that is now commercially available to those with type 1. And we've also shown that uh, we have novel therapies that can preserve beta cell function or insulin secretion in those who have a new diagnosis of type 1 diabetes. And with each new discovery, we are that much closer to a true cure for type 1 diabetes. Now, in the past year, obviously, we have had some changes with COVID-19. Uh, many of our diabetes trials involving elective immunotherapy or immunosuppressants have had to pause or delay enrollment but we haven't let that discourage us. If anything, it has served to motivate us more now than ever toward furthering scientific knowledge. And it should come as no surprise as we have a group of people who are very used to overcoming what others deem to be insurmountable obstacles that we've pivoted and we are focusing some of our research efforts on COVID-19. Benaroya Research Institute is a site for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine research study. We are testing whether or not a vaccine will be safe, tolerable, effective in providing immunity against SARS-CoV-2. Traditional vaccine methods use all or part of a killed or weakened virus to get our bodies ready to fight. And that is something that we see with the seasonal flu vaccine. However, with our vaccination, we're doing something completely new. We are giving viral genetic material, it's called messenger RNA or mRNA to the body. Now, messenger RNA teaches our body's own cells to manufacture the spike protein. It is the protein you see on the outside of the virus that gives coronavirus its name. It gives it that crown-like appearance. So the hope is that once this protein is present in the human body, it will elicit an immune response and uh, we will have antibody production. These antibodies are what is necessary to provide immunity to the virus should someone become infected. Now with our vaccine trial, it is placebo controlled. I get asked that a lot. So 50% of our participants will receive the active vaccination and 50% will receive placebo or a saline injection. Now, for us to be able to determine whether or not the vaccine has been effective, we need to have a certain number of people actually develop COVID-19. And it's impossible to predict how long that could take. Um, but I'm encouraged in that we are learning about the vaccine. We are forwarding research and we're taking one step in the right direction day by day. A safe and effective vaccine is needed before our lives and our research can return to some semblance of normalcy. And so we do consider our work on the COVID-19 vaccine trial to be very pertinent to the work that we're doing in the diabetes group and the work that BRI is doing as a whole toward finding cures for diseases of the immune system. And I just want to show you, this is something that we give to our pediatric participants when they complete a trial. It's a little plaque and it has a quote from Dr. Seuss. It reads, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. And I think that one of the true joys of my job here is that I am surrounded every day by people who care a whole awful lot. Our clinicians, our researchers, our staff. I cannot think of one person at BRI who doesn't care tremendously about the work that we are doing here. And we're also supported and championed by people who care a whole awful lot. And I'm grateful every day to those who are supporting our research.